So the story I'm telling you tonight is called Lazy Jack. And you may have heard it. It's an old, old story, probably hundreds of years old. It comes from England. There was a young man who lived with his mother, but he really didn't like to work. He would spend the summer sitting out under the shade tree, and he would spend the winter sitting next to the fire. And finally, his mother, who made her living by spinning wool, she said, Jack, it's time for you to go out and get a job. And if you don't do this, then I'm going to have to put you out of my house. I can't support you anymore. So Jack took his mother's threat seriously. He went out to look for a job. He went to a farm and worked in the fields all day, and he got paid one penny. This was quite a while ago. <laughs> and he'd never had money before, so on his way home, he was throwing that penny up in the air and catching it. He went across this bridge, and the penny fell down through a crack, and it was gone. So when he told his mother what happened, she said, Jack, you silly fellow. You should put it in your pocket. Okay, Mom, he says. I'll remember next time. So the next day he went out and got a job with a dairy farmer. And in payment, he got a bit of butter, which, of course, he put in his pocket. <laughs> And by the time he got home, it had all melted and gone down into his boots. His mother said, you silly fellow. Next time, carry it in your hand. I'll remember next time, he said. So the next day, he went out and he got a job at the, at the grain mill. And for payment, he got an old orange tomcat and he tried to carry it home in his hand. And that tomcat bit and scratched him so badly he had to let it go. And when he told his mom, she said, you silly fellow, next time, tie a string around it and pull it along behind you. Well, as you can, as you can guess, the next time he got a job, he was given um, a, a shoulder of mutton for his payment. So he tied a string around it and he pulled it along the road behind him. <clears throat> when he got home, it was ruined. It was all filled with rocks and dirt. You silly fellow, said her mother, his mother. Next time, carry it on your shoulder. I'll remember, he said. So the next day, Jack went out and got a job with another farmer and for payment, he was given a small donkey. Now, as he started to head home, he looked at that donkey. He wasn't quite sure, but he was a strong young man. He managed to get that donkey on his shoulder. And he was walking home. And on that road, there was a wealthy farmer who had a daughter who had never spoken and never laughed. And he had said, he had put out this announcement that whoever could make his daughter laugh could marry her. So here comes Jack, carrying the donkey on his shoulder with all four legs in the air. And that girl happened to be looking out her window. And she laughed and laughed and laughed so hard her parents couldn't believe it. But sure enough, the daughter and Jack got married. And it was a perfect match because Jack did not have to go to work and he kept his wife laughing. Plus, his mother got to live in the future. So that's the story of Lazy Jack. <coughs>